Well, the country's premiers are meeting in Nova Scotia's capital today for a summit organized by the Council of the Federation. CTV's Colton Prail is in Halifax and joins us now live with more on what's on the agenda. So what are we expecting the premiers to discuss here, Colton? Well, the big topic is federal overreach. A lot of premiers very upset about a number of different programs that they say go a little too far. Where's Unilateral policy that reaches into the provincial jurisdiction. There are a number of concerns there, whether it's education, whether it's health care, whether it's incoming Canadians, uh, whether it's energy. All of this is a big issue for premiers. And they say there are a number of federal programs like Pharmacare, Dental Care, the Housing Accelerator Fund that dealt specifically with municipalities. All of these are examples of the programs that the provinces are upset about, that they feel they weren't consulted enough on, that they feel uh, have been left behind on, and they're asking for more cooperation, but also more input from the federal government to be at the table during these discussions, to have a bigger say in how things are going to go moving forward, but also in the funds being doled out so that they can have more control over the future of their provinces. You look at a uh, province like Alberta, for example, that is threatened to pull out of the dental care program by 2026, or Ontario, and the, the uproar that we saw, especially from the Premier's office around the idea of housing deals that were contingent on fourplexes or increased density being a part of the deal. These are the things that Premiers are upset about. They're hoping to, to come together here at this meeting over the next couple of days, find ways to better work together between themselves, but also pressure the government as a unit, pressure Ottawa, uh, to keep them more involved in the discussions. One of the other things we're seeing a lot about uh, is health care. That's a huge issue across the country, whether it's aging population, that's a big issue in Nova Scotia, in BC, or whether it's uh, what Doug Ford is focused on, which is actually making sure that one, people have family doctors, and two, that they're able to get medication in a timely manner. Uh, right now, if there are new medications, new prescriptions coming out, on average, Canadians are waiting about two years. That's the worst in the G7. He's looking to get that closer to one year moving forward. He says it's going to be a priority when he takes over as chair of these meetings next year, and he wants to start those discussions at this meeting right now. Those are the big key topics. The other one is electrical infrastructure, green energy for Ontario. It's small modular nuclear reactors. They're looking to work together with Saskatchewan and New Brunswick in creating those, bringing them online uh, to increase more green power generation. Yeah, definitely need a lot more electrical infrastructure there, especially if they want to have more electrical vehicles on the road. Colton, thanks so much. A lot on the docket there. We appreciate it.